stop it. Many times I have had the pleasure of introducing him by means of the newsreel. But this is the first time I have ever had a chance to do it in person. <laughs> For more than three years, war on a vast scale has been waged in China. China is fighting for her freedom and her preservation as a nation. Japan is fighting to make China a vassal state. In recent announcements, she has stated her intention of dominating the entire Far East and of driving out all Western trade and influence. In this war, she has destroyed our trade with China, bombed our citizens and property, violated our treaty rights, and ignored our protests. The aggressor nations are moving rapidly. It is far more dangerous for us to remain inactive in the face of what is happening today than to follow a policy of action. We should make a joint agreement with Great Britain, the Netherlands, and France for the protection of our mutual interests in the Far East. We should acquire bases, as we have done in the Atlantic. We should strengthen our Asiatic fleet, basing it at Singapore. We should insist on the opening of the Burma Road. We should aid China in every way possible with loans and munitions, and we should stop sending war material to Japan. The wars in Europe and in Asia are one and the same war. It is crass folly to believe that this country can live in peace with Germany and Japan if they win in the present struggle. A future war is inevitable, and they will be far stronger then than they are now. There can be no peace in the world until the rule of the military element and the spirit of conquest in both Germany and Japan are broken, and men who recognize and practice honesty and decency in international relations are placed in power. Thank you.